Welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. So today's video is going to be something, you know, something fun. I'm excited about it. Um, basically what I'm doing today, you guys have read the title, obviously, doing a 1920s inspired makeup look. Um, because what I am wanting to do, I'm wanting to, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing uh, makeup throughout the decade. So starting with 1920s, um, I'll probably skip 30s and 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s now. So I'm going to be doing a separate video on all those looks because it's just so iconic. Every single one is so iconic and so specific and I think it'll just be really fun. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited about that. So that is where we are starting today. So welcome. I'm really excited. So it's obviously just all inspired. So it's not going to be like specific. It's just sort of how it's just going to turn out. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, that's basically it. This will be a tutorial, so I will be speaking through it. Um, as usual, there'll be a full product description down below. Um, I'm using quite a few different new products today, so make sure to go and check all that out if you're at all interested. Um, that is it. I'm going to cover my brows with camera, and I'm also going to do my hair first, because I'm going to be using my real hair today. Um, so I'm going to be doing my hair uh, before I do all my makeup, just because it needs to sit for quite a while, so it stays in place. Um, so that's it. I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll see you guys and we will get started. Thank you guys. Bye! Okay, so I hope these aren't too like obnoxious and distracting for you guys, but I need to kind of keep them in so it um so it all stays in place. So we are going to take our brush and we're gonna dust all that back real quick. So I have a pair of like really light grey contacts that I'm gonna go put in real quick and then I will be right back and we will finally get started. So I'll see you guys in two seconds. Bye. Okay, so these are the contacts. I'm in love with these contacts. They make you look so different. It's crazy. Anyway, so these are them. So that's it. So let's finally get started. So one of the first new products that I'm using and that I'm really excited about, so basically it's a bit of a backstory. Um, Kat Von D was so lovely enough to send me like a big, crazy, ridiculous box full of stuff. So she sent me a bunch of foundations, heaps of really, really good concealers, a few really nice brushes, um, powder, and some primer. So this is what we're going to start with. This is the Kat Von D Locket Hydrating Primer Base. Um, I've used this before. I've used this... Um, um, in drag, I've gone out in this and been out all night in full drag with this on and it was so good. Truly, truly, truly so good. So, we're going to get started with this. So like usual and like forever and like always, we're going to use the Cryo and TV paste stick. So, I have two colours here. I've got a lighter one and a darker one. I'm going to use my lighter one. Um, because these flappers were not traditionally very tan. So this was, this is the, um, darker one. This is, like, actually my skin tone. This is the lighter one. So I'm going to use the lighter one. That is the colour, uh, L-O-B. For anyone asking. So, let's get in there. Okay, so concealer. So this is a, another one from Kat Von D. This is the Kat Von D Lock Concealer Cream in L5 Neutral. So we're just going to put a tiny bit of this on first, just underneath the eyes. Blend it real quick. Okay, now we're going to really get this going. 
this is another one this is actually a white concealer which is so good so good I mean it makes so much sense this is just a uh, white out another one from Kat Von D um, and we are going to really highlight our whole face And these are so good. Like, it's crazy. You don't realise how bad your concealer is until you actually try a decent one. <laughs> and they just blend so nicely and they don't crease. And it's just like, hallelujah. So just quickly build that out. Okay, now we're on to contour. So this is the eh, Kat Von D Concealer Cream. This is a concealer, but it is um obviously quite a bit darker, so I am going to use it for contour. This is D35 Neutral. So... No, 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 no. Just a little bit of contour, nothing too crazy. Okay, we're just going to go in with our air spun real quick and just set all this. Okay, so we're going to skip contour because we don't need any more. I'm just going to go straight to baking with my Krylon. Okay, we're going to leave this and then right back and we will start on the eyes okay so I just realized that it's really I think it's quite noisy outside like there's heaps of I don't even know it's like blowing a gale so I'm sorry if it's really noisy I hope it's not too bad but as usual I always come to the conclusion that I want to keep this on for the rest of this time so we're gonna keep this on we're gonna go into the eyes real quick so we are gonna do a cut crease that is going to be involved. It's going to be very arched and come down. So I'm just taking this black eyeliner pencil. This one's from Dassault. Very, very good. Oh my god. Okay, so this, we're going to cut a crease real quick. And then, yeah. Okay, so you can see that they're, they're very round and they don't come out, they finish right at the end there. So I'm going to take this like tapered little brush here. We're still going to mix a tiny bit of grey with a bit of these browns here. Just so it's not so dark, but we're still getting um, a little bit, you know what I'm saying. I'm just going to, like usual, just blend this um, completely out. Take this fluffy brush, I've got nothing on there. We're just going to run that all across. And like really, really blend it. Oh. Okay, we're gonna take that same brush we're just using to blend. Where am I going? I'm gonna take this red purple color here. And this is the Morphe 35B palette. And this is my life. Okay. Bit on there, and we're just basically gonna blend this all into this um crease here. Young Brandon in the quarter. This the night I party and reach a form of Nevada. Drink till I'm up and then reload another bottle. That's the motto. Hey, I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Okay, I'm just gonna take this um con sort of concealer brush 
just has like the tiniest, tiniest bit on it. And we're just going to sort of reshape this a bit because it got a little bit out of hand. So we want it to be very arched at the front and sort of like, um, like come down. So he wants to be kind of flat. So basically just like brushing away what we don't want. Okay, that's like the basics of it. Now I'm gonna go in with this black brush. Doesn't have a whole lot on it. Just like the tiniest, tiniest bit of black. And we're just gonna darken up these two corners here. I'm taking my sugar pill palette in the same color, I mean same same brush, and take a bunch of this red, and we're gonna mix this in with all that. Gonna take a little bit more this time than last time and we're gonna focus it here quite a bit okay take that and we're gonna kind of fold this up in that crease line that we created just to sort of get that happening a little bit more again We're going to take just a small little brush and we're going to really sort of try and get that a little bit more precise. Okay, we're going to move on to the bottom. Just take your brush and just lightly brush back all that powder. Okay. And, oh I look so crazy. Okay. Oh, it looks so crazy. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going to take that same brush and just blend whatever is on it underneath. Okay, we're going to take that tapered brush we were using, pack on a little bit more of that purple mixed with a tiny bit of black, and just pack that on the bottom. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go back in with our red, same blending brush we've been using, and just, again, run that over the top. Blend it all the way down. <laughs> like, a massive, like, makeup trend in the 20s was having their whole having their eyes like go down instead of up so this is what that's doing focusing a lot of the pro like the eyeshadow on the outer corners is also bringing it all down um so just trying to create that illusion of course okay we need black black stat this black ain't cutting it Okay, so we're gonna take tapping brush, and this is the one of the NYX primal colors in black, and this is the best black I've ever used. It is black. This is hot black. So we're gonna get that in our water, like on our eye line here. Sort of blend it out as you go. How 
crazy do these contacts look? Like, honestly, this would be such a different look if I didn't have in these grey contacts, honestly. We're just going to put a tiny bit of this in that inner bit there. I'm really going to just get rid of everything that's on there as much as I can. And we're just going to blend these edges again. Okay. Those are that. Me, me, me. Just going to do a tiny bit of black liner in our waterline. Just before we move on. This is probably the best idea to do this first. But I forgot. So of course with this look, just think very like Pat McGrath, John Galliano, Dior, gorgeous, just gorgeous, yes, yeah. Okay, so we're going to move on. So I'm going to be doing my lids now, um, and this is another thing that I've recently received that I'm very excited about. This is from Glitter Spectrum, they are the, cr like, the cream glitter shadow sort of things. Now, I was very skeptical. They contacted me on Instagram and were like, we'd love to send you some stuff, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this on Instagram. I'll put a link down below. I would go and get some because they're very good. But I was like, yeah, sure. I was a little bit skeptical, I have to admit, because um, I just couldn't imagine that they could get it so it wouldn't be patchy. I just didn't think it would be as good as it was so once it came I was like okay cool I'll try it put a bit on the back of my hand and it was like truly amazing it was so good so I'm gonna put some on my lid now and I'm so excited so again I'll put the link down below to the Instagram they sent me just this like little four colors so the blue green gold and pink and they also sent me just some loose glitters that I haven't actually tried yet I've only tried these so I think we're gonna do the green for our lid. I'm really excited about it. So let's just do this then, I guess. Okay, so can you see how shiny? Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. So I'm just gonna take a, my finger, sort of just like rub it. Oh. Oh. And like you don't need to use a freaking like glue or anything because it's it's freaking it's gonna stay there oh my god so I'm so excited so I'm just gonna pack this onto my finger and then we're just gonna put this all over can you not see that <laughs> truly I am done I cannot okay like really though can you not see that it's so good And like, y'all know I'm not just saying that because they've sent it to me. You can see. You can see it. God damn. God damn. I'm going to have to give me some more of these. I have to, I swear to God. Okay. So there's that. So I'm going to take this flat brush, go back in with this green. And we're going to just make it a little bit more precise. And now I'm going to just go in with a tiny bit of the pink just in sort of these like corner areas just to blend it a bit because it's looking a little bit harsh and I don't want there to be like any harsh lines. Okay. Bit of this pink which I am like dying over, truly, okay, okay cool, now because I just can't resist and I'm just annoying, I'm going to go back in with more glitter, hmm, going to use, oh shoot, that wasn't a good idea, just a tiny bit of the gold, just the tiny, tiny, tiniest bit because it's so pretty. And we're just going to sort of like run that in the middle. Okay. So 
So those are the eyes. We're going to do a whole heap of mascara. Top and bottom. Oh my god, this mascara is the shittest thing I've ever tried in my life. Yeah. Brush back. Just all the rest of this real quick. Okay. Brows. So we're going to kind of arch down quite a bit. Because that's what those 20 gals like to do. So we're basically just going to sort of map it out a little bit. Seriously, so sorry if it's like ridiculously windy outside. So annoying. How dare they be so rude? Okay, we're gonna take this dark purple. This is BYS Deep Purple. And we're going to outline our lips. So I'm not wiping off everything on, off my lips because um, I'm not like actually following the shape of my lips. I'm sort of changing it a bit. Okay. So that's the outline. Now I'm going to take this uh, uh, Rimmel um, lipstick in the color Dark Knight. Like really like dark purple and we're just gonna fill them in so a lot of you guys a lot of you guys are wondering where you can get this this is the bow beauty roll-on shimmer you will I so highly doubt you'll be able to find it online this was two dollars from um, big W here in Australia um, it's like one of those just like cheap and nasty sort of brands um, in those sorts of like big shops. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take this, um, I also got a bunch of, um, what did I get? My brain is not working. I also got a bunch of brushes from Sigma Beauty. They were nice enough to send me um, their new highlighting and strobing and all that kind of stuff. All those brushes. So thank you guys. That was really lovely. So I'm using this uh, Sigma Beauty strobing fan to get that glow on. Now also what we're going to do is we're going to take the same and we're just going to highlight just a tiny bit our inner corners here. Okay guys, so this is the makeup. Hope you guys enjoyed it, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to do my hair, I've got accessories, I've got all that jizzy jazz and I'll be right back. So I'll see you guys in two seconds. Bye. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. So I just put in these, like, I love these earrings so much. I, I, I don't think the 20s at all, but, you know, what are you going to do about it? And then just, like, a little bit of a hairnet. Oh, my nose. And then this is actually, like, a 
it was actually like a big huge piece of fabric that I got the Upshop for twelve dollars so good it's like this gorgeous like red fur um, and I saw just like cut it off into this little like shawl thing and that's it this is my 1920s inspired makeup um, I hope you guys enjoyed it I had a lot of fun filming this again there'll be a full product description down below as well as all the music in this video um, and that is it thank you guys for watching and I'll be back next time with the 50s Yas, queen! So I'll see you guys then. Thank you guys. Bye!